What's going on everybody? Jordan Lankford here. We're up here on the beautiful Parksville Lake. Probably mid, late summer. Probably upper 90s up here today. Let's go see if we can get on a summer pattern. Look at that right there. Nice. And Little update for you here. We're up pretty far up this Okoe River right now. We got some riprap over here. We've been cranking it a little bit. Ain't got a bite yet on it, but it might turn on eventually. Um, you can look over here and see. Good looking eight on this bank. So far, I've caught one off a wacky rig. Simple old wacky rig. A decent little fish. Not special though. Let's get back at it. Up, boys. On the wacky rig. It's a nice little pounder. You know what I'm saying? Clear to the top of the mound. Can't beat that, y'all. Come on out here and throw a wacky rig on these banks. We've been out here probably three hours, caught six or seven fish, and the majority of them come off the Senko. All you do is skip it along these uh, river banks right here. There's a little bit of current, so it does float down a little bit. But somehow the fish still like it, you know. out here fishing these bridge piling. Hooked up on a little large mouth. How about that? On a shaky head, so so far, two fish on a wacky rig, one on a shaky head. How about this? Uh, we moved out of the river down to more main lake. Main lake right here. Just picked a good looking bank and we're gonna try to get something going. We fished the river the same stretch two or three times until the, until the bite started fading out and we knew that was, it was time to go find something to do. So we probably got an hour and a half more fishing. And, uh, we're gonna try to get something going down here. Just caught one on a shaky head. Sort of, shaky head's sort of an all, all year round bite. You can always come out here and throw a shaky head and get bit. Yeah, quality pound and a half, two pound fish, you know. Have a ball with him. Got us on a daggum big one, y'all. I mean, I mean, golly, but that's a golly whopper right there. That's not on the dollar menu at Burger King. That's a sure enough whopper. One day. One day. Got us one on a wacky rig. Come out of this tree top right here. Good little, what is that? Good little largemouth. Up here at Parksville, I mean, one fish could be a spot, the other fish could be a largemouth. It's really hard to determine where one's going to be. Holy shit. Look at them up there. 
That's what we after. We after the dumb bait eaters and them shad, you know. Just like that, the fish go back under the water. I don't know if you can see in that video or not, but they, they went on out a little bit deeper. And all you can hope for next time is to be in the right spot, the right time, or maybe them fish will come back up, who knows. But that's, a, that's more than likely spots chasing bait. If you can get on them, it's, it's generally good ones. So I have a, a Zoom Zinkly here. And as you can see, like, it, it's probably poured in the mold like that. And uh, there's a right side and a wrong side to rig it. You want to take your fingers and put on the egg sac there, and you can roll it over. And you can see on this motor roll worm, the chartreuse needs to be on top. So there's a green pumpkin on top. I roll it over, and you can see the curve is a whole lot more better with the chartreuse on top. So that, it gives it more action too. So you rig it. Probably gonna be coming through the water like that. Yeah. Work it sideways. And there you go. That's how they get the maximum action out of your Senko. Any other brand of Senko is the same way. Just rub, roll it with your fingers. And uh, you can see it working right there. Look in the water. See? If I rigged it the other way, it wouldn't have near the action. Look, look at that son of a gun. That right there, that's it's been doing some damage today. Done went through a whole pack of them. So it's a wrap out here on Parksville Lake today. Um, all our fish come shallow. Wacky rig. Few on a shaky head, caught a few on the shaky head around the ridge ponds and stuff. Stayed shallow all day. Up the river, it was 74 degrees, water temp was. On the main lake down here, it was 84. It didn't seem to phase the fish that much. Down here on the main lake, it was, it was still schooling, you know, like they should start doing to go into the fall. And like I said, we stayed shallow all day and tried to focus on uh, wood and rock and where they come together, that was where our better fish did come from, up the river. And all the ones we caught on the main lake was a little bit smaller, but all in all, it was a good day of fishing. We boated probably 20, 25 fish. Can't go wrong with that, and even worth the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and share with your friends.